Tonight, the Columbus Police Department is investigating after a data breach at the Columbus Metropolitan Library. Personal information of more than 50 employees was compromised. They say fake, fake bank accounts were set up in their names. NBC 4's Eric Halpern is live outside the library tonight with these workers now trying to get out of these problems they've been put in here. Eric? Mark, a library spokesperson tells me those employees are being allowed to use work time to deal with some of the problems that this is causing. To be clear, this is not impacting library users. It is only affecting library employees. And according to this Columbus police report, at least 75 employees are affected. Library employees are used to checking out books, helping people find books, and other library-related questions. But dealing with data breaches is not usually part of the job. This continues to be a societal issue that uh, unfortunately library employees have fallen victim to. According to a Columbus police report, the personal information of employees was used to set up bank accounts at Huntington Bank. Money was deposited into those accounts through payday loans, then withdrawn using debit cards. Library spokesperson Greg Dodd says an employee noticed something was wrong over the weekend. This individual didn't have an account at that particular bank, so that was the red flag. Then employee after employee started to see the same problem. Dodd says dozens have come forward. I can't speak to the exact number. I will say of our overall uh, workforce, it is a relatively small percentage, but, but any, any Columbus Metropolitan Library employee is, is too many. Between full and part-time, the library employs about 850 people. It's the second breach in the last few years. Dodd says every person employed by the library in 2017 was affected by a previous breach. Right now, he says that incident and the most recent breach have not been linked. So we are looking at all of that, but uh, we cannot conclude that at this time. And I'm told the breach is not isolated to any specific branch of the library. Again, this is not impacting library users only employees. Live and local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.